No hat. Hey, everybody. I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Chris Yee. I'm Camilla. Who is this? You have a hat. Yeah. 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 Who is he? Wait, wait, it was you last week that didn't have one, right? Ah, hey, uh, Tom. Hey. You didn't get me. I missed you. It's like My name is Zeke. It's very the bad of us. Match, though. That's true. <laughs> Why'd you get him one that doesn't match, Roy? It, it matches. matches. The tie now. It matches yeah, on it's... screen, not IRL. It's fine. Did you say I? I did. I only see Tom <laughs> through a screen. <laughs> All right. Imagine the saturation of more Folks, welcome to Crowd Surfing. If you'd like to see more of this, we're currently running a Kickstarter ourselves. Ooh. Yeah. At, okay, you're gonna, gonna get to see our tomfoolery, <laughs> our 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 silliness, some of our our. Huh? DiceTowerKickstarter.com. <laughs> You, it, we are go, we are coming up I on the final a word. 48 hours, so <laughs> go check it out. We'll have some more announcements later today about that, actually. Today? Ooh, okay. Uh, but this is a show called Crowd Surfing, where we talk about stuff on GameFound, BackerKit, and Kickstarter. Our show is sponsored by BackerKit. Let me show you a project on BackerKit right now. Okay, today we're taking a look at Monty Python and the Holy Grail board game. This is the officially licensed game for this, based on one of the funniest movies ever made. Two to five players, 40 to 60 minutes. You want to see the movie? It has some pictures and stills from the movie, but also has original art from Terry Gilliam in it. And it has a 3D catapult. You're moving your knight around the board. You can see moving here. One of the funniest things I think down here is the fact that you, this dismember, you can dismember here the black knight. And there's even, you can see the different catapult ammunition. They have some down here as some of their stretch goals uh, that have been backed already. The most cowardly, the chicken, the smartest of all catapult, the pig. So you want to, you can read the rule book and check out more on how to play this here for the Monty Python and the Holy Grail board game. Now, folks, BackerKit is a place that you can start your own projects and run it. And right now, there's a special thing that you can do if you go and set up a project in the next few months, from February to April, and then fill out a form. You, too, can be featured here on Crowd Surfing. So go check that out and check out all the other projects that you can find on BackerKit.com. Alrighty, Well, let's get jumping into our projects today. First of all, we have a re-project. Um, I don't think that's what they're called. Oh, they're they're called re re projects. <laughs> this is Masters of the Universe, project. the board game clash for Eternia. But this time, Simon has made a pretty dramatic move and did it on GameFound Game rather than Kickstarter. What? So well, much drama. Oh, well, no, I think it's mostly because uh, Game. Yeah, yeah, GameFound don't care if you do a project more than once. Is it, yeah, because you can't repeat. They did it already on Kickstarter. They want to do yeah. it again. The big news here, actually, is the fact that this is now worldwide. Worldwide. That's true, because the last That's the big reasons yeah. it was U.S. only the first time, right? This is the U.S. one? Yes, correct. Okay. This mm -hmm. is the U.S. one, and there was actually almost a concurrent project with this theme for a different game that was a European design, or, or you know, it was, it was coming out in that part of the world. But now... Through the magic of cinema, you can get this anywhere in the world. This is <laughs> this was in Z's top ten last year, I believe. This game rocks. It's Did, really good. Is there new content in this? Yes, of course. Can you guess what? Two is exclusive it? figures? That is 100% correct. <laughs> <laughs> you made that up. There no, are two it's two exclusive figures. figures. Skylord or Sky and Open. Yeah, or something it's like something about Twister and Terminator 2 Judgment Day or something. <laughs> I don't know. The, all their names are ridiculous. Can you get them by themselves at least? Yes, returning sure. backers can get the minis and then according to Mike here, the two new minis and then corrected cards and rules. So it's also a little bit of How a... can Mike have the reprint? He, it, it, Mike no, he's lying. a joke. I yeah. have the power, I have the, the reprint. reprint. Wait, what? Well, that's he a terrible joke. That's oh, there it is. Though. I For have the power! 20 bucks oh, I here. I Jitsu and Cyclone. I have the sword. He definitely how'd they, shouts. How'd they miss these classics the I first time? I have the power! Dun, 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 And then he gets zapped by lightning. He's okay with that. <laughs> and then he not only does that happen, he turns around and he has a, a, a pet cat? Liger? And he zaps it too, I do know and the, the cat's yeah, like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do like that. <laughs> it's like a war, like a war cat, war cat, right, war tiger. You, something. Did you watch the second season? It just came out. No, I haven't no. seen it. Did you watch the first season? Yeah. No. First season oh, sucked, okay. but I'm, I heard the second season's better. First season was called He Man, and then the first five episodes. 
had zero He-Man in them. That is correct. <laughs> that, is, that is what I heard. It was yes. called a bait and switch. <laughs> now, well, he be, was in episode one. Now, to be fair, it was just called Masters of the Universe, right? So that's true. It Who's never said it didn't promise you He-Man. Kind of did in the previous. Okay. <laughs> also, the one woman was mad for a long time. She's like, "He never told me he was He-Man." I'm like, "Well, do you use a dummy?" Because it was so obvious. Like anyone who missed that. Prince, what's his face? Prince, Prince Adam. Adam. So he has yeah. the same haircut, right, in both. To be fair, he does change, but there's, there's magic in that world, so. Yeah. Right. Um, also, he always is a, it's the same problem, okay? I know. Sure. Uh, Ooh, I want these dice. Oh, they're Do we really have these dice? pretty. I don't know. I don't. I've never you seen them. You got an all in, I think. Um, the two new characters and the corrected cards, especially. Yeah. That'll be cool. Yeah, this looks good. This looks good, and I'm glad that. Again, more people will be able to get it because I really did like it. I'm glad that it's going to the Joey really world. liked it. I think that's really awesome. Yeah, that'd be cool. You yeah. liked it? I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. I like the system. I, I would like to see them use the system with other games. I other did like genres. the system a lot. I like the idea that you can, it's a one versus all, but the one can be the bad guys or the good guys. That's just right. a fun, yeah. a that fun concept. Cool. Yeah. And it, it's a good two-player game, too. I see, I think I prefer it at two-player. I think it's a really good two-player game. You get to shout, I have the and then you're holding, he's holding the sword, <laughs> and like, <laughs> we did this. That is optional. We did this. All right. <laughs> Next. Another big prize. It's two in a row. Kabuto Sumo Sakura Slam. This is another sequel. This one, though, is sequel. It's a standalone game, but you can mix and match all the stuff. In fact, we had a tournament of this, mm -hmm. and we clearly know who the worst <sighs> player in the office of this game is. No, 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 no. Who it ain't it? you, Roy. That is me. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I... Chris played me and tried to lose to me. It's impossible. You I almost couldn't. cheated and still could not win this game. I'm just so bad at this game. You are bad at it. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. You got slammed. <sighs> I've I've always enjoyed this game. I think more than most of the other people in the office. Um, yeah, but it's a bat now. Camilla likes the bat. That thing that swings around. I do like that batting ram. That cool. was fun. That I was fun. Wait, is that a pineapple? That's a little bug. Oh. Where did you see the pineapple? It looks like a, it's like well, a little pineapple. spider thing. Oh. Now you're confusing spiders with pineapples? Look at it! It looks like a pineapple! <laughs> this is why you don't kill them. You thought well, that I was don't a kill them because they're good. Oh, that'll oh make for gosh. good juice. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, it's an animal. It's crawling. Yeah. Ooh, I like the backwards. Ooh. Uh, go back up! Oh. Anyway, oh, this man. is if you've ever played Plinko or what the Chuck E. Nope. Cheese. The coin pusher nope. type thing. The things. coin pusher games. They said Plinko. Yeah, Plinko yep. is the. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, this so this works. There's some different rule changes to it. It has this platform that you need to come push off of. From the corners from instead of from the Is that a brand new thing? The yeah. Platform oh, I didn't thing? Realize that. The original. Well, the platform's always been there. Uh -huh. The original one was a circular board and you could come from anywhere. Mm. The most boring games of Kabuto Sumo, what happened was if someone was near the edge, they'd push themselves back on. And the other person would then push them off too close to the edge, and then this player would push themselves back so on. So it becomes who has the bigger... I like, oh, okay, I did not realize I, I never either. played the original. I didn't realize that this whole platform thing was new. This is... Yeah. Yeah, it's platform the corners. Yeah, I really like that. And the four corners thing, getting a bonus for them is new also, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. so it's a little more gamery, but not like... But it's still super easy... I think this one's good. Does right. the original one have the um, character powers also? Are these just four new characters, or is it is character it does, powers new? There, uh, there are character powers in the original. Oh, okay. And so cool. they said everything's backwards, forwards compatible. Um, well, except mm -hmm. for the baseball bat, you can't do that on the old arena because you mm -hmm. don't have a turnbuckle to like swing it around. Well, this is the way to go because that one is. There's a also lot of fun. several. They said there's now 28 wrestlers. Yeah. One of which. Is on the Dice Tower Kickstarter. You can go Hello! The, the Ladybug. <gasps> DiceTowerKickstarter.com, baby. With a, with a pile of aphids. Yes. Aphids. <laughs> Wait, come on to Lazy Susan? Did I just come on to Lazy Susan? What? Is what? that like the all in or the specially one or something? No, that's, that's the future. <laughs> no. I didn't realize it was a lady. I yeah, like that a lot, not actually. Pulling. Yes, we, we obviously played the tournament on like a yeah. prototype copy, too. No. <laughs> we got got. That's cool. That would That's be really cool. great, actually. I'm there is the tournament. Two of those. You should watch the video. It's fun. It Let's is fun. watch it. Not in the round. We've got to move on. That's Kabuto Sumo. What else are you doing? Fate, Defenders of Grimheim. So, Frick's Games. I love it. They're like, they go through the whole video. We're doing those over-the-top accents, you know? We must defend the land! And this uh -huh. and that! And then near the end, 
And with that same voice, the guy goes, so yeah, you should get this game from the makers of Terraforming Mars. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, almost got all the way through it. Yeah, I have. To, I don't think I've ever seen Fricks advertise anything where they didn't mention they made Terraforming Course. Mars. Absolutely. But also, why would you not? Yeah, like they've made a bunch of games. Oh, anyone, the only one anyone ever knows is Terraforming Mars. I say, yeah, Mars. do you fault them for that? No, I think that's... Well, I fault, them, I fault them for all the other games. <laughs> that's what they okay. say. I fault them for the fact that that's all they can say. They keep coming out with new games, and they're not going anywhere. I don't think the next one's going to say, from the makers of fate. <laughs> Just say. <laughs> well, that, that, that's another thing, though. This game is nothing like it. It's, it's nothing yeah. like Terraforming Mars. It, it kind of looks like a all grown up Castle Panic. A That's what I bit. thought That's with the castle the defense in the middle. Especially with these the, triangular yeah. monster tokens. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But I don't mind that. Like, I mean, I really like Castle Panic, and I thought this was. This artwork was right on the edge of being too cute for the Viking adult game, you know, but it, but I think it worked that edge well. You know, it did uh, make yeah. me giggle a couple times. I wish they had picked one thing or the other, because you're right, it's in between two things. It, it is. It's like, yeah. go cartoony or. or go. Viking like, I don't so. know, yeah, I like that guy. Go back up a little bit. There's that guy running on the side there. Mm -hmm. And to both both of those guys, actually. Oh, I am not a fan of that art style. Oh, I like the no. left, the left but one you like made me this laugh. one? I hate this yeah, one. Yeah, I don't like That's way too generic. It's the belt of youth, and what's it, is he getting whipped with it? 100% Woo. is how they did Woo. it in Grimheim. I did like the skeleton, no, though. Dad's with, like, <laughs> but I did no, like we, the skeleton. We got it. <laughs> no, we understand the, the abuse. No, it was he deserved it. It wasn't bad. Like, really? You're gonna call that abuse and think they go around and pillage people? I'm just saying, and we're worried about okay. the kid getting hit. I with have the standards. power to call an American office <laughs> that deals with. Oh my with gosh! Call a Viking? <laughs> yes. In a game? No, I wish this one looked better because it doesn't sound bad. It seems kind of cool, like you said. Familiar notes from Castle Panic and Castle Defense and stuff. But yeah. I I have a hard time. This is me speaking. I have a hard time getting past the look of it. Well, I think yeah. you're zoomed in on my page because I can't zoom out anymore. Oh. Mm. I call this the Camilla effect. What? Why? What? Ooh, Finkel. because your computer is different when we do yours and off weeks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We, we gotta go back to to normal. The off weeks. Oh. You hear that, Camilla? Mm -hmm. Ooh, I hate that skeleton artwork. How did yeah. that skeleton? Is he hurt there? That's what I was trying to tell you about. Shocked. I really like this skeleton. I no, he's not guns. hurt. He's just shocked, right? No, also, he has an arrow through, through right him. I got a couple questions. A, why is he wearing a loincloth? <laughs> B, what's with the googly eyes? But again, that's what I like. It's like, right, I, I think if it's going to go cartoony, there's enough of that little humor in there that it makes it work. Had it just been cartoon, I'd been like, uh, it looks too much but like Castle But then you don't panic. like the one below it, like this lady here. I don't like, yeah, I mean, like, that's the thing. Yeah. It's, it, it should be goofy. Right. Or like... Almost goofy, but like this one does all of them. It does goofy, it does like kind of right. gruesome. So I don't know. I think goofy. it'll be interesting to see when it comes out what the mix of that is and if they're able to nail it because I, at first I didn't like it, but the more I looked, a couple of them made me laugh. And I was like, okay, if they can walk that edge well, then I think this looks cool. But I like, I really like Castle Defense uh, cooperative games, and so I'm, I'm intrigued. This says it's their first Kickstarter. I thought for sure they. Did they, they did do the it under box. something else again? Well, that's game that was under Stronghold. Were they on oh. game film? But didn't they do that Angel that game? Deliver or Angel Fury or something? Yeah. Maybe that was also. Man, I don't know. From the makers of You Forgot It. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. All right. Marble up. <laughs> so this starts by showing some guys at a pool, which is where you take all your dexterity games. Yeah, okay, 100%. don't even fake yeah, like you would not take. To a pool? No. Why There's you water. You don't take games near water? Some games you do. I, I, like what? I take Hive. It's made all of plastic. <laughs> oh, or too many bones. Here's the thing. I like, I, like how this looks, the hot tub. <laughs> I like how this looks a lot, actually. This looks fun, but I only like the ones that have the logos and stuff. It looks yeah. a little too bare bones without it. I think it like looks that, pretty cheap. This, and by cheap, I mean, like, they're not getting away from this looking like some homemade crap that they, like, a bunch of bros... Desi decided to, to put together for their frat. I'm not getting anything here that is going to go the... I don't want to play this for more than two minutes. Right. It looks like, oh, I, yeah, it goes up the ramp, man. But <laughs> Let's I, move on. I need to refill my but beer. But I think I will. I like this over some of the other dexterity games that you we have. You are going to play this game because I'm getting this game. No, you're backing it. 
There's a difference. That's oh. true. <laughs> oh, man. That deep cut. Like it. I don't, would they put like a nice dice tear logo on there? That'd be kind of cool. I'm going to ask if they can. If not, yeah. you can do it yourself. How? How could you possibly <laughs> do that yourself? Oh I have the acrylic! Then he gets zapped, right? No. And then he points it at a 3D Stop. printer. Stop! No! <laughs> you guys are killing me. All right. Anyway, I think this looks good, but me. it's definitely... How much is it, anyway? Look, it's what? 150 for the table size. Why is the t-shirt 50 bucks? <laughs> <laughs> That's their first thing. No one wants That's that first red flag. <laughs> Marble up! <laughs> no, if the mini's 100... The tabletop's 150. What you want is the and 150. the actual table. You don't want the table. Why would you yeah. pay that much more to get for something you don't really want? Dude, like it'd be so yeah. disappointing to go to someone's house and be like, you have a foosball table. Like, no. No. I got marble up. It's Watch marble this. up. Yeah. Sit down, man. Let me show no, you. No, stop making. Okay, I'm going to. I think the 150, and then you can see if they All customize right. it or do it yourself. Yeah. Gemstone and glass meeples. So, Jen has some competition here. I don't think this is. I wish I, I had a use Mrs. for these. This is Rado's stuff, is it? You like these? I, I do. I wish I had a use for these. Glass, I don't. Right? Do you glass. like Carcassonne? No. That's, that's every ghost? game that uses uh, meeples. <laughs> <I> just, <laughs> yeah. You just named all the games that use meeples. Carcassonne, <laughs> uh, done. No, but I mean, I mean, for a lot of games, you would need them in the same colors and things like that. I, just, I think these are really pretty. I think they're <laughs> great. I, 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 I no would just be constantly worried I'd drop one. Again, maybe it's something I would use like more as like a decoration or something. But no, I thought thought mm. these were pretty. You can get six for eighteen euros. That's pretty They're good. Very actually, tiny, I'm guessing though. They're actual meeple size. I think I assume, so. Right? That's what I thought too. You know what I would, what, it who I would have to be to think that these are amazing would be like an Instagram right. photographer. Oh, like oh, if I took pictures of game, like yeah. really nice pictures, it'd be cool to have that kind of, you know, glassy, transparent-ish looking. That would really elevate. Your gameplay pictures. So yeah, interesting. It would, I, I think they're I don't very know, cool. I like them. I might back a set of these. Yeah. I like what them. Kind of what kind are you getting? Do? Well, let's Inquiring go back up on But again, what would I do with them? That's what, that's what kept right, holding I mean, me look, back. I don't that's like photography, so any yeah. of those. Oh, you don't like that one? I like the second from the right. The amethyst? The tiger eye. Tiger eye? I, like no, I really I like don't tiger like eye. tiger eye. It's one of my favorites. I like this group here, the aquamarine to red. Those are pretty good. I like that sodalite light one. What about I like turquoise? That, I like that quartz Do you strawberry. Like turquoise? No, it's Because it's same. synthetic. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's not real turquoise. <laughs> oh, I like opal, too. Opal's one of my favorite stones. Is it real I opal? Oh, I like that jasper red. And that carnelian. All right. Okay, I'm, I'm getting more and more convinced that these are made up. <laughs> Wait, you don't know that? Half is, tilt. Is carnelian a color? Now, speaking it's a stone. of stone. Speaking oh, of cartoony yeah, artwork, I like this picture is a great picture here on the top. I like the That's funny. This is one I don't like. You I don't like that on, art? I think we're on other sides of the line on this one. I don't like this one. No. I really like that guy's look at his face that he has as he's 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 yeah. done. He got jousted, yeah. So this one I cannot pull a lot of information out of. They're <laughs> miniatures. They 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 make miniatures, this company. Mm -hmm. I went and clicked on them because I couldn't figure this out. And they have other miniatures projects. But they don't. What are they selling me exactly? Well, you can buy the game here, which is in a rule book, but I don't know if it's a miniatures game. And how does a miniatures game? It's a game? miniatures yeah. game it's for sure. Am I game. buying the minis? Am I buying a book? Are they. Do I print them? Do they print them? Are they painted? Not painted? What is. What am yeah, I getting? There's so many like, questions here. And also, yeah. what's the crossover like with miniature games and this look? That's also a whole nother like right. disconnect. You know what I mean? So, not even having the information and understanding, it's like. Well, you're you're targeting two very different groups. I feel like. And no, I, I and, agree. I had a hard time oh. understanding what was going on. The one thing I was like, oh, this is the the one saving grace. My man riding a walrus. Yeah, the walrus. No. Awesome. How Go a walrus back to the guy <laughs> riding the walrus. That's Tom. the worst one. Walrus. Oh. Yeah. walrus is the fastest land mammal known to Can man. You imagine? Look at that. Pulls up in a walrus. I'm like, oh, I'm scared now. <laughs> if I saw a guy. Pull up on a walrus. <laughs> Rev up. it at the red light. <laughs> <laughs> I would be terrified. You I can't think terrified? of any. I can't think of any of these animals that's better than a horse. Pig not as good as a horse. No, no, pig. Goat pig. too small. Tom, this is a joke. You're aware. Shut right? up. No, I'm taking it seriously. Oh my god. Oh, Camels. Yeah. You don't you think like, a camel is as good as a horse? You better be careful. You dragon. You're about to offend a whole lot of camel lovers. Wolves are good. I take a wolf. 
But it has to be a giant wolf. The wolves wolf. are also yeah. like... Have you watched Lord of the Rings? That's not real. <laughs> also, those are wargs. Actually, you're right. These are all wow. half... Well, these are all I'm, halflings. I'm sorry, actually, it's, you're correct. Actually. <laughs> no, to be fair, these are halflings. Right? That's like the whole oh. the joke of it. Oh, yeah. I didn't so know you, that. you could do a wolf. You could Ooh, write a wall. I like this bit. Wait. What's, if I were in, the, what's in the I would picture? Ride a I never horse. even looked. Yeah. Absolutely. I got so caught up. No, they're riding horses. It's a Chris. bunch of horses. And then the also, stretch goals, I guess. That's clearly are. a Puritan in the background there. <laughs> that's the Quaker man. <laughs> Eat your old man. This, I mean, I, yeah, I don't understand. Like, I wish I, I wish it told me how a jousting game yeah. worked because I'm like. That's an idea, right? But what's the what's the material? Yeah, like move it? forward. Like I'm gonna do something different this time. <laughs> Can we go this way. <laughs> <laughs> Sidestep. <laughs> Woo! Missed. <laughs> My walrus dives. <laughs> Burrow. All right. Burrow. Z, this is your theme here. Yes. Metro well, runner. You like this theme I do too, like right? This theme a lot. Thunderworks. Here, Metro right? runner, baby. So this is yeah. they, they. This is not in the Ulos universe, which is what they normally do. The role player universe. Yeah. Right. So that middle puzzle, the the I forget what they're called, but the little making the connections, hacking the network, hacking Mila. the network. I thought you were also the famer, kind of, the right, very clever remember. pipe game. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Is that kind of like for an action selection? I couldn't quite I don't figure out so. how that wrapped in because you're not trying to solve that puzzle, but you do it on your turn to connect two things and get those resources or something. Because at first I was turned off by it, but then the more I looked, at it, I was like, oh wait, I think it's not like solving it, it's an actual usability mm. kind of thing, but I also couldn't quite gather exactly what it was. I wasn't sure if you guys figured it out. I was really... I was At, the, at first, I saw the co cover, I saw the theme, they sold me the whole world, but then, as soon as I started looking at pictures of the game, what you're doing in it, it's very much not about that. It's, right, it it's just kind of, kind of abstracted. a... It looks like a middle-of-the-road Euro game. It does. I... And I appreciate when a bland Euro game has like a cool theme. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I'd, I guess I'd prefer that over just like. I would prefer connect. it to not be a bland Euro game. Sure. Right. Yeah. Um, Man, I tell you what though, that art does, it looks like it's a stronghold. But game. if it's going to be a bland Euro game, it's cool. Not bad. There's different. There's. Like, I don't know. I think there's the difference between having like a really cool theme and having a really cool setting. And in this one, it seems more like a setting that they're trying to shroud in theme. And for a Euro game, I appreciate that, I think. You know, if I'm mm. going to play a bland Euro, I think what Chris said, like, sure, then sell me on the setting. I think it's one you of know? my least favorite settings. I, it's Cyberpunk. Really? I didn't know that. Mm. I don't. I also, the artwork it. looks the same. I, that looks just like the artwork on Resistance, and I don't like this art. I, I will it. agree with that, that there's Cyberpunk looks are pretty narrow. Yeah. Yes. It's kind of like looking at Viking games and you like they use the same font, it's that Viking font. And everything looks the same and you're like, oh, here we go, a Viking setting. Yeah. I agree. Everything has the hot pink. It's the same three fonts for everything. And that one lady with the haircut on the, the, the hair gone on the side yeah. of her head. Yeah. And the blonde and the cool techy thing. She's in every one of them. Interesting. She's enough, everywhere. This guy is, the artist here, did art for... Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, and Arkham Horror stuff. He's there. He's the fantasy flight mm. artist. That's interesting. Interesting, oh, okay. yeah. I like when Thunderworks tries something outside of just their role player universe. So I'm okay yeah. with that. I'm going yeah. to try it. I'm just saying the theme doesn't excite me. That's so, all. Uh, that's where I'm at. I'll try this one. I like that it's a different theme. I don't even particularly like the theme, but I don't know Thunderworks has a good yeah. track record. I like the theme. I don't think this one looks like it uses that theme. And the gameplay looks sort of bland. Hmm. All right, before we go any farther, we got a quick note here from our good friend, Mark. Street? This spotlight is brought to you by Doomguard. Only Earth's mightiest heroes and villains can defeat Earth's greatest enemies. Welcome to Legacy City, or what's left of it. The once proud metropolis has fallen victim to a terrible tragedy as an ultimate evil of unspeakable power has emerged and seems intent on corrupting the city and enslaving the populace. The creature's foul minions prowl like the city streets doing its evil bidding. But there still is hope. A small band of brave, super-powered individuals have teamed up to face the eldritch menace and drive it back into the sea. 
saving Legacy City and its inhabitants. The odds are stacked against them, but they are the city's only chance. They are the city's only hope. They are Doom Guard. As a player in Doom Guard, you'll take on the role of these brave heroes and villains who have put their differences aside to defend the city and save the world. Collectively, they are the Doom Guard. Individually, they are known as Guardians. Together, they must travel through Legacy City, fight the minions of ultimate evil, and drive back the corruption as it spreads. For more information, please check out the campaign, which is now live on GameFound. All right, let's jump back into stuff. Now we are looking at Z's favorite thing, playing cards. What's it called, though? VDV. VDV. <laughs> Victoria de Viti Viritas, I guess. Yeah, right. all right. Yeah, I guess. Okay. So this is a masquerade style. And of course, as these always do, they're going to spend a bunch of time talking about the box. Well, they talk about a lot about the theme of the deck of cards. Like, there's if you want to like dive into that, this is a project for you. My goodness, yeah, they spent a lot of time on that. And there you see the cards. Do you like them? And there you see the court cards. I do not like them. I couldn't tell. I don't like them, but I don't like this style, this whole masquerade. But if you take it off the mask, there's probably a skeleton underneath. Sure. I'm never a big fan of that. I have a deck of masquerade-themed <laughs> cards, which is very nice. And they are actually one of the few dark decks I have. Do you like the yeah. match? I don't have. I don't like black-edged cards. Um, no, I don't. This too ordinate, I think, is my beef with this. I don't like that the mm. court cards are too... They almost look like a picture of a statue in some of them. It's like they're very ornate. Yeah. And uh, uh, he really... And he does two versions here. That's the one... The one-way and the two... And the reversible one, the two-way design. That's a weird thing. Like right there. You can get the... Duplice oh, edition yeah, yeah. or the single edition. Uh, like, you, you want the? You don't the, like that? No, I like the duplice one, right? Yeah, I yeah want it absolutely. To, right, yeah, but I like the. Way. I think I would like the other one, but I also don't really like cards. But so, I, <laughs> so, so I, but, I mean, but, but I'm saying, like, I think that's neat that he is offering something for both sides. Yeah. You know, so I think that's a good call. What took me a while, and if you scroll down the page, they're like, oh, we also offer like a metal coin or something. They talk about the seal that they stamp on the box and stuff. But like here at the metal coins, I was like, you know what? That's what all the cards look like to me. They right. look like yeah, sun-dropped yeah. miniatures or metal or something. They do. That's yeah, true. Yeah, I guess that's what it is. That It's a neat look. I just don't think it offers enough variability on the cards. Yeah. And then the background on the cards is also inspired by that look. And the pips is inspired by that look. Everything looks the same. But Everything is bronzed, you know, and just I don't know. I don't. I don't like the look of these. Actually, funny. This is so, from someone again who doesn't really care for cards. This is probably one of my favorite cards that we've looked at. Oh, okay. That's All really right. Interesting. I see. I see the appeal for sure, but it's just yeah, not what I want in my little collection. Now we're gonna yeah. jump to a three-in-one mahjong deck, which is Christmas themed. See that? Okay. Right. Yes. <laughs> Anyhow, um, that's one of the three things: Christmas, Valentine's, Valentine's, Valentine's. and Tree Day. Mahjong. <laughs> Anyway, has anyone here played Mahjong? Yes. You have? I have. I don't and? think so. You it's, like it? Um, it's fine. I could see why I could see why it's such a cultural game, right? Mm -hmm. It is kind of like domino or you know, in how some cultures like dominoes is just a thing that everyone in the culture knows how to play. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I can see that. It's uh it's, you know, some people treat it as a gambling game, some people treat it as very much a sit down and we're gonna play spades tonight. No, tonight we're gonna play Mahjong, you know what I mean? So it's it's fine. I, d I don't get the appeal personally. Well, I think these cards are incredible. I think they look they really do fantastic. look nice. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do like that they are doing the. Again, it has the number, has the symbol. This is a good set of cards. If you are teaching someone mahjong and you're doing so with the with a mahjong set, you can play with these cards, but you can also use them as a kind of like a reference. I think. You can be like, here's what a set of Mahjong has in it. Let me break this down. Because Mahjong tiles, you kind of have to know what they mean already before you, you sit down to play. They don't yes. really, they don't explain themselves very well. You know it or you're lost. Mm. I definitely the cards ask a lot. do that. Yeah. yeah, you ask a lot of questions. Uh, circles, that's a suit, right? You right. know what I mean? Not that I'm holding the f four through seven of circles, but I need to know this right now. Right, like the <laughs> one is like a different image, and you're like... Yeah. What? This is like unrelated to the rest of the suit. Oh, that's the one in, in bamboo. And you're like, what? 
Hmm. So this is cool that this helps you with that. It looks good. All right, Monty Python and the Holy Grail board game. We mentioned this earlier. This is definitely made by, well, people who like this movie, which is, mm -hmm. this is a pretty broad appeal movie. I, I guess so, man. Yeah. I've never seen it. Oh, really? really? No, I'm lying. I just <laughs> Sorry, that was, that was a shock question. Jeez. Have you seen it? I have, multiple times, yeah. Boom! <laughs> I've avoided seeing it multiple times. Is that better? But I bet I bet that you know a lot of what happens in the movie. I know references to it, yeah. and they're all hilarious. It's kind of like Napoleon Coconuts. Dynamite. Coconuts? Wow. Yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah, wow. 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 So. You're like yeah. anti-pretentious. Nonsense. Okay, no, that's called being pretentious, sir. You sickened yeah. me. All right. It's a great movie. Anyway, it, it, uh, the movie seems like crap, but also I get that <laughs> people <laughs> like it. It would be hard to appreciate a movie uh -huh. after everyone you meet has like yelled random bits oh, of it at you. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Every time, what? You haven't seen it? Yeah, yeah. it doesn't really Again, invite it's you fine. Into it. I Let me try it again. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah right. From the top. Seen it, but we're what? Mandatory watching a Friday. Nah, good luck. I'm, I'm out uh, that day. Um, <laughs> one thing I do not understand, explain this to me if there's something I'm missing. Mm. This is making two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Yes, That's correct. There yes. The, did everyone who's backing this watch the same videos and the same explanations I did? It's it's What's, one hundred percent. Am I missing computer. something? I think it's I think it's targeting not board gamers who like this theme. I would play it. So it you know it kind of reminded me of the Trogdor game yeah, when it was on it, it you know. But I think that that was actually a good game. Was it an innovative game? Not necessarily, but it was very well integrated with the theme. And at the end of the day, I enjoy the game for the game on top of, you know, with the theme, which really sells anything. it. This is one that it's like, this is a mess, it I feel looks like, of a terrible. game. terrible. I'm it sorry. awful. This one, it, to me... It might me, be funny. It might be good. I don't know, but it looks awful. Right. This is this is a theme that I am absolutely there for. Like I said, I've seen the movie multiple times. When you I was love in, it, right? I really do. When I was in Scotland, I went to Dune Castle, which is where it was filmed, and got to, like, you know, go Did you do the scenes? Did you do it? It's only in a my, flesh wound. In wounds. my head. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, not yeah. there. It's, not there. That was at, down in the that's woods. That's down. Yeah, no, I know. No, yeah, but I Yeah, but that scene in the castle, though. So yeah, so I, I got to. <laughs> I think I would. Okay. okay, I think I would try All right. this. All Never right. mind. I'm done. You don't get movie. my story. I don't want to watch. Okay, next one, Essence of Eternity. A terrible name. Have you by guys the way. seen this movie though? <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Ooh, good. I saw it on uh, Pandora. <laughs> the planet with unobtainium? No, like the radio show. Oh. All right. Anyhow. Mm. So you're picking an avatar to control special yes. abilities that you have yes. over the course of the game. It yes. looks very much like a collectible card game. And then you play Munchkin. Yes. See, here's the thing. is Actually, this one sounds kind of similar to that Holy Grail game that we just looked at. Right? Both mm -hmm. had like, you go on an adventure. Here's the thing you're going to face. Other people can throw cards to make it harder. Yeah. And I was like, out. Yeah. It looked terrible. Out. Yeah, the explanation, they were like, you can be this, you can do that, oh, you can fight a monster. Not quite good. Like, the explanation was so ridiculous. She's like, you know, the lady doing the voiceover. Flipped over a 12 and a 4. Oh, like, I love that part. Not yeah. good enough. Not good. But you can enhance <laughs> it by doing, oh, look at that power. Now you're at 12 to 12. But the opponents might mess with it. Oh, you should have come prepared. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Boy, and then it's Munchkin. Like, yeah, but they're like, yeah. but... You know, you didn't come prepared, but you could steal cards from other people's hands and play them for power. Oh, like, it looks awful. Yeah, yeah, out. yeah out. I agree. All right. You're, maybe you're maybe being you guys will like this one. You like it? No, it looks terrible. <laughs> Explorers of Navboria. So this game, um, which has art that's very similar to the guy who does the art for Root and Kyle, games like that. Kyle Farron. It's mm -hmm. not Kyle Farron's art. Blown away by that. It does I seem would, similar. Like, I mean, I watched. The, vi the video, some of these images, I'm like, this is insanely similar to that. Some I, it's a style. I don't. I mean, it's a similar style. Just it is. I'm just saying. Oh, I'm not. I'm not saying anything, implying anything like they stole their style or should get out of the business or anything. I'm not not implying that. Okay. Um, what not? Ever. I think this game looks amazing. My point being, I really thought it was the same artist. It's, it's not. Mm. There's the some game differences looks great. when you when you look at the pictures. Yes, there's, I'm looking. He he draws more detail. Actually, I think. It, it, I don't know. I, I think I could tell them apart. These are super cute. 
I think they I look great. I really like the look of this game. I think it looks wonderful. I love the idea of the tokens that make their way to their side, and then you use them for worker placement. I mm -hmm. like the ones that, as you leave them out, then the opponents get to use those also, so it's that shared uh, resource, not re yeah. workers, shared worker, you know, yeah. kind of mechanism. I thought that was really interesting as well. I'll tell you what does not help the comparisons to Root and Kyle Farron, though, are the meeples. Like, the fact that they went for a very similar type of thing. Yeah. Because I think with the art, you can you can say, you know, they're the, but those meeples look like Root oh, meeples. Yeah, they do. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, that but, being said, that style is starting to be pervasive. I've seen other games that have those Root meeples. What's the guy who does the... the um, he gives us promos, uh, makes the little... the. Has all those cute meeples. The game came with so many cute meeples, I put them in drawers because we got too many extra ones. Um, like Dwarf 7 stuff? That, that stuff? guy. But what is his dude, name? Yeah, yeah. More, more current game. Yeah. Those meeples look like these, too. Right. And You're it's, talking it, about like Vesuvius Constant? Yeah, well, not Vesuvius. I don't but, know. Um, like, whatever. The, the okay. meeples are. Hmm. But no, I mean, it's going to get comparisons. Oh, I do. I hear you. Brewer Games. Yes. Uh, what is his name? Yeah. Brutal Games has meeples that look exactly like that. I don't know. I think there's room that... Th th just because one person has a very unique style doesn't mean other people can't be similar to that style. And the so people actually cheap. got worked up about these looking like Root? Oh, yes. there's a huge debate online. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, is there really? There's a lot of... yeah. I did not realize that. Um, I arguments couldn't care less. ...being thrown around. A lot of like accusations and stuff that I think are pretty baseless. That someone oh, has a style that looks like someone else? Right. Yeah, you that's, don't own a style. Welcome to Good art. Grief. Right, yeah. yeah that's... And I, I can tell, I can see it being based in it, but I think it is different, um, very different enough. Like you said, the the detail is a little bit different. Mm -hmm. um, the color, the I color palette, the schemes. Prefer are this stuff. actually. I feel like mm. this is more. It has more detail, but also is more clear. I feel like. So anyway, this looks um, fun. It looks really neat. I really like. Yeah. like I, I love this card here with that airplane. It's just like, I like the pretty. color palette a lot. I really yeah. like the clarity of the symbols. I don't, you know, obviously know how to play that kind of stuff, but it seems like. The graphic design of the cards I look at, I'm like, oh, okay, I think I can, I, I know what I'm supposed to be looking at this card. I don't know what it does, but it seems like very clear. What other games have these guys done? Dranda's done Pioneer Rails. Yeah. Oh, they get, oh, they get the new style. No, right. No, he's the designer of the game also. Like, so he's very involved in the whole, this, this is kind of world. his design, his, his, um, product that he's putting right. out there. Right, right. So Very I know, interested. Yeah, because Chad here says you may feel different if it was your style that was taken. It's not your style that was taken. I mean, I, like, you don't own a style. Also, you know, I might feel different, but guess what? I don't. This looks great. All right. Yeah, this is not someone who. I think that to Chris's point, this is not someone who is trying to imitate someone else's style. Right. That they plucked out of somewhere. You know what I mean? And be like, right. hey, can you draw like this? Mm -hmm. This is this person's style and their their des their designer. You know what I mean? Like that. Yeah, yeah I I agree. That seems kind of baseless. All right, Bunker Strike, a game of strategy, fortune, Let's and skill. Oh, this is what <laughs> I've been missing, man. Do you want to build a bunch of rubber band guns and drive them around? No, I couldn't tell you how much I don't want that. <laughs> I think if I saw this at a convention, I would stop and play it. Yeah, but would you buy, buy it? it? I don't like the way it looks. Would you it steal looks homemade. It piece I don't by know how piece. It, it, yeah. Would it you looks... go by and be like, this is cute. I haven't seen this, and take one piece, then come back with a fake mustache. Steal another piece. What? This Until eventually you have a copy you didn't pay for. It's just a, it's just a question. <laughs> Is this a new thing that we're starting? <laughs> stealing games piece by piece? I'm only asking you. How do you get the board? You John? haven't heard a no yet. Look, Johnny Cash did it one piece at a time. <clears throat> Thank a you, car. okay? He was a 49... Four, you know, 50, 51, 52, 53... Anyway, I think this looks Chevrolet. funny. Will you go back I up? went back it, though. Will you go back up? Yes. Go back up. No, 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 no. Okay, will you go back down? Okay. Go back down. <laughs> Oh, it said one of the things is the STL files. I want to see what STL files Brown it gives still. you. <laughs> you print wood. Right no, no, there. right there, right there. It looks like you get to print some, like, bunkers. Got it, okay. I wasn't sure if it was the actual files for the... If he was giving you the files to do if you have a laser cutter. All right, folks. Oh, I was wondering about that. STLs also? I don't, no, it's not STL, but I wasn't sure, if, like, what else it was. I don't think they're... I don't have a laser cutter. I don't know, but I don't think they're STLs. But Good games are around the corner. Question. You might see more next week, but that is the end of our games in it. But there's more coming your way. We have some stuff that's not games. Stick around for that. But first, let's once again talk to Melita. Oh, jeez. Battle Angel? Alita? Alita. Oh, Mark. Street. Oh, Alita. Did you just, like... Hey, folks. Welcome back to another Dice Tower preview recap. I'm Mark, and I'm here with Alita. 
and we have about three games to look at well three different projects to look at i should say and you know what when i told alita we were due to go film this was her response and first up we have season two of premium card sleeves from the big turtle now i get to use these exclusively through the month of december on a couple different games i really like the fit how easily the cards shuffle and rounded corner sleeves which i really liked and there's even an orange peel textured sleeve that's something to check out so if you like to sleeve your games definitely give it a look and next up we have doom guard now i know we did spotlight for this but i just have to chime in here again and say how much i like the theme of this one you know villains and heroes teaming up to fight ultimate evil like cthulhu and lastly we've got eve war for new eden yes as in eve online the video game so this is the board game version and they've done a really nice job production level even in prototype form is off the chart just a fantastic game a 4x game as you'd expect as you roam around the galaxy you have all kinds of different things you're going to conquer buildings you're going to build resources you're going to need and of course you have a tech tree which is probably my favorite part so that brings me to my pick of the week and as much as i love the doom guard theme so well done so fun i'm going to give it up for eve just straight up a fantastic game again like i said the tech tree is something unique every time you play you can go a different direction maybe you're all about war maybe you're all about diplomacy all kinds of different directions you can take with that tech tree and evolving your faction or your civilization or your empire just a fantastic game and again the production level even in prototype form is off the chart all right, folks, if any of these games look like they might be of interest to you, please check out our full previews. And if you want your game featured as a Dice Tower preview, please shoot me an email. All right, folks, until next time, we'll see you at the table. All righty. You better hold that dog tight. They're kidnapping animals out there. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at some stuff. If you, there's weird stuff, unusual stuff, cool stuff, send it to me at tom at dicetower.com. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of it. Send me more. Sometimes I don't put it on because... It's, we still got many days, we have many days left to look at it. But let's go back in time, and let's talk about the Nut Smasher. Do y'all remember this? Yes! yes! Oh, this one! Bang! Yes! yes! Okay, this was it. okay, yes. Well, good news! <laughs> it came in! Yes! What? What kind of nuts did you get? Well, unfortunately, there in okay, lies fine. the problem. We can use... We have peanuts. I have... Is this why you brought peanuts That's to the wait. office today? Peanuts? You don't need this, though. You know what? I think I know, that, that I you absolutely need this. No, I, I understand, that, Camilla. My wife went to seven stores, okay? She's already annoyed at me as it is. <laughs> Wait, right? There's no, like, they're, walnuts They're out of season. All right. All right. Oh. They're out of season. Okay, put your finger there. Oh, no. Right. <gasps> Look at that. It's got metal in so it. So you take Wait, this. Wait, hey, let's switch you seats. You pull it up. Yes. <laughs> you okay, let's try it. You want to do it? Yes. Yes. Yes, that's how you're supposed that's to do it. That's how it goes. I was oh, here we go. I want to see how hard it is. Let's see if it's going over the room here. Ah! Oh. Oh. oh, I I have. I don't think that's going to work. Here. That's what I think. Here. It doesn't No. Work. No, you're fine. No. You're fine. Oh, that's nothing. Well, I don't. <laughs> I have concerns. All right, let's. Okay, try it out. Actually, if it doesn't work on a peanut, it ain't going to work on a walnut. <laughs> Maybe I'm not holding the board oh, tight dear. enough. Oh, dear. I need. I don't. A failure! What? Are you well, supposed to, like... Well, what's the board on the oh, table? Oh, here, let me, let me try this. Let me try this. What if you, like... Okay, it's not... <laughs> that defeats the purpose. <laughs> That's literally not how you do it. I okay, mean, okay. Let me take... Let me sample if the peanut is... is... No, no. Yeah, what do you no, do? okay. Is that one? Okay, okay, try okay, again. No, different. red is the stronger color. Just like in Powerade. Blue is cold no, okay, flavor, okay, red okay, is strong this. flavor. <laughs> hey, it worked! Okay, okay. No, it didn't. That's the secret. Peanut. Here, just hold it down for me. No! no you hold, yeah, you okay, hold it right there, and I'll pull. You're fine. No! <laughs> this is kind of a failure. To no, work. it worked! This also, is watch. Peanut. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a beast. Mm. Let me peanuts. see. Yeah, I don't think a Brazil oh, wow. nut or an almond. Is your peanut good? Almond? No, not almond. Walnuts. <laughs> what are you smashing a peanut? This barely works, man. Yeah, this okay, is really... Let's, let's, let's How much watch. did you pay for oh, it? Those are terrible peanuts. These are really bad, aren't they? What are you going to do with these peanuts? I'd recommend the trash. 
It no! Hmm. Try it! I got Touch it. shell. Look what oh, I managed. Pretty bad. Look what I managed to do on yeah. my own. Mm. They're like soft. Right, right mm. they're soft, Whoa. but then they go like mm. pine at the end or something. Mm. Like it feels like chewing on wood. Mm. What are these? Mm. They're Hampton Farms Jumbo Raw. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, anyhow, mm. they don't feed us around here, folks. Okay? <laughs> these are wait. These okay, are let's watch. Exceptionally bad. Oh, let's yeah. watch it. Watch Does it. Does he hit it? All right. So he pulls it up pretty hard. Hold on. You're There's pulling nothing it pretty there, hard. Dork. There's nothing there. I wanted to hear it, and then you started talking. Yeah, that's not. Oh, that's not. It is got a good heft to it, though. Hand me another one of those terrible peanuts. Oop, just slammed the microphone. My bad. Sorry. Guys, oh, my guys, bad. so many snacks here. This is really don't disappointing. Even act like, okay. This is not... I... I don't think so. You know what I mean? My, my vote would be a no. That's you know more what? disappointing it's than the game a that no I played me, last night. Dog. Okay, well... I give a higher rating to the peanuts. Okay, what else can we do with it then? Because... <gasps> a door knocker? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Mount it like that? No, a punishment when you lose a game. You gotta put your finger in it. No, there. it doesn't even hurt that bad, though. See? He's fine. I'm glad you're the guinea pig for this seat. <laughs> no, what? <laughs> I'm never switching seats with you. I'm telling you right now, okay? You're good penis. I, I like this penis. Do you, do yeah, you that's, These are this good is, peanuts. If it doesn't yes. break a peanut, there's no way it's breaking a walnut. No, no. a walnut is at least well, plus six peanuts. A walnut is taller. <laughs> Yeah, but it's stronger. It's like the tank of the peanut I family. Think, I think that we need more more down. I'm gonna get some more nuts and see, but oh, these are really bad. Can I spit it out? Well, you stop putting them in your mouth. <laughs> but they were. They were oh. All right, doing. moving on. Cuckoo maker, which sounds like the name Wait. of these. <laughs> are we going backwards? Oh yeah, this yeah, is the I guess last we one. Are. I made it to right here. I, got I switched some things around to put the better stuff in the beginning. Okay. At the end, this made oh, me man. think. That hurt the my funny hand stuff hitting that. End. Oh, the better stuff at the beginning. No, Got like it. this. This actually, this actually sounds like something cool. I don't like coffee. This is the most pretentious coffee thing I've seen on Kickstarter, and that's, uh, that's saying a that's lot. That's saying a lot. Mm. This is my favorite feature. Is it says easy to clean. I'm like cool because the, all the other like centrifuge and cold spin pressurize all that stuff. I'm like, dude, I don't understand coffee. But at least it's easy to clean. There's that, like I know what that means. There's a whole lot happening. They're like, so this has a thing in it, a chamber within another chamber. One of them has coffee grounds. The other one has water, and it spins like a centrifuge, and it forces the water through the grounds evenly. The coffee comes out of the sides of this contraption, and it slowly makes its way to the reservoir. It's like, dude, it's just coffee. Like, you just, you just make coffee. You know what I mean? Coffee... Drinkers, or I guess coffee people. Uh -huh. It's like the snootiest, most like, ooh, a real cup of coffee is like, you know, heaven. I, I don't get it. I, I don't understand. I do have. He's making a ton of money. There is somebody that wants yeah, to send this to and see what they think. Coffee people are um, content. I said Jameson. He is one, like, travels with his own, like, coffee. Okay. Coffee, everything. And so oh, I want to wow. know. I want to know what. Yeah, because we were at Dice Tower East. Um, <laughs> he was there and I was like, what in the world? I'll tell you my favorite part about this project is the video. It has like uh, a 50 second sizzle reel of all these like really good looking, good music. Mm -hmm. I was like, that was a good video for a product I don't really care about. Mm. And then it says, the following is not professional actors. Right, mm -hmm. these are real people. And I was like, oh, there's like a 23 minute long video. Oh my gosh. So it has like 50 seconds of like perfect Kickstarter video. And then it's just two guys standing there. And you can tell they're not professional actors. Yeah, they don't have to tell me. Yeah, you're like, would you like me to make you some cold brew? That would take 8 to 12 hours. That guy's been yeah. picked. <laughs> I love that Joey here says uh, he likes coffee, but it's a drink, not a lifestyle. Mm. Like, yeah, it sums it up well. You know, that's not a lifestyle. Wrapped apples. Clear them out of our fridge. I like uh, Scott French, whose name, by the way, is Scott French. I respect Z's incorrect opinion about coffee. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> that's great. All, All right. right. 4D Vault. Transform to a bag you need every time. Five bags in one. Mm -hmm. Why is it should the have 4D called five. <coughs> Oy, this is... It's a computer bag, but mm -hmm. also a backpack. Unlike my backpack, which 
Hold my computer. And you can't put the computer in your backpack. <laughs> but it no. can become a stylish briefcase. Right. Which is one of the most hideous excuses for a briefcase because it also happens to be a backpack. I, I don't yeah, mind I'd, this necessarily. It's just that this is a very crowded market with really great back. I mean, backpacks today kill backpacks when I was a kid. I love mm. backpacks. When I buy oh a backpack gosh. now, I spend a lot of time. I like. I love the one I have now. It has its spot for the backpack. It has pockets. I, I, I love these Well, these things. guys have this thing that collapses to quite thin and then opens up. I like that. But then but I, that thing is supposed backpack. to go in a backpack, though. That's the thing. But again, that goes in a backpack. You can use your own backpack, but guess what? They'll sell you a backpack for that backpack. <laughs> but, I mean, that's also not a new thing. Like, you can do that with hiking. If you go to REI How? or anything like that, they already have this stuff, like backpacks that go small. And, I mean, I'll do that when I'll travel. I'll put a backpack in, the, in my luggage to their therefore use later and have double the storage. So it's like, this isn't there. new. You like raw peanuts. Who knew that? Oh. Ah! oh. Where do we go from here? Let's see how long you commit. <laughs> just, Keep it up. What a stupid joke. Keep no, you watching. Gonna pay for that one. Are you going to swallow? Not, not, not. No, let him go. No, I don't want I this. It. I don't want the chewed stuff in the bag. Are you going to eat the rest? I don't know what we're going to do with it. I recommend not eating it. He's been eating it the whole time. I know, and that's disgusting. Peanuts are edible. He's still, look peanut shells. Look, he's still going. look of regret. Do you think he's gonna swallow it? Okay. I need to. I have eaten a whole peanut before. It's not a good. Oh, uh, we're not still a good about a handful. Coming back. Do you need us to go to a leader? Look, I think. I think. <laughs> hey, folks! Welcome back to another. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Chris is not talking for the rest. All right, of let's get back to the, the stuff. The bags. Who cares? Next one. <laughs> okay, this is one of my favorite things ever. And it's funded. Oh, my regret. <laughs> go over there and spit in a garbage can. Oh, yeah, go. No, Get out of here. Though. Take the trash can out and do it. Just go. A Bye. neck uh, pillow lounge. Have you ever been walking through the airport? Yes. And no. You, 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 want, you feel like relaxing. Yeah. And you can't find a good chair. That happens that's, a lot, actually. That's fair. That does happen, yes. And you want to bring your own chair that no. you have to blow up with your mouth. You lost me about three sentences ago. You don't blow it up with your mouth, by the way. Did you not see the video? No, I did not. Oh, it's great. Is it one of it's these him. air thingies? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. It's him going those. like this. <laughs> trying to catch all the air in the airport. And this is the same. Stored in this thing. <sighs> this is so weird. This is the same thing as the book bag, though. Like, these things already exist. I don't oh, understand. This is a new one. Because it attaches to a travel pillow. This is so. This is a camping thing already. They make these. What yes, is the show but blowing it up? Why would he have it on the beach or a volcano? It's just uh, it's, uh, right here. Check it out. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. If you can't find a chair, you can definitely find room to do that. Here's the thing. I really think that if I saw someone at the airport sitting in one of these, I'm judging them based on this. Straight if you're up. sitting in one of these in the airport, you don't care that you're being judged. That's, That's fair. true. That, you're, really also, true. you're also currently streaming at that point. <laughs> Let's be, be that as it may. But again, hey are, everybody, I'm here on my new <laughs> pillow. You know it. They're on TikTok right then. Once and again, this Chris, is like not... something that already exists. I don't understand. This is how you blow it up. You do this. Yeah, I saw this. We also, yeah. if you do that at an airport, you look like a maniac, and TSA will top you. He makes a valid point. I just don't. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about this. Just get a neck pillow, y'all. <laughs> also. <gasps> Is this a new thing to tie your neck pillow to the... It is if you back this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, what? I don't know. And so you said this, like, exact kind of, like, swish the air yes. thing is It is. For and hiking. you're about this big, and then when you need a chair, it's rather than taking your hiking chair, and you do that, and it's, it's the exact thing. It just doesn't have a neck pillow attached. Could, would it be possible to buy that and a neck pillow? In one trip, one place? <laughs> Moving on. I'm on pins and needles. What is this? A 627-piece <gasps> puzzle. I want this so bad, Tom. Well, it's really easy for you to get it. Yeah, I'll no. explain to her. <laughs> yeah, how you do. Yeah, show me. Show me how right to do there, it. Right there. $79. Yeah, where, the where do you click? Go through the steps. I don't understand. So we, we, I already bought <sighs> spiders for the studio here. And I love I it. I thought you hated spiders. I do. I, I think that, like, uh, So I can have that one? Robot spiders are pretty cool. They are cool. But I didn't get like to build it. Great I documentary could build about this the Wild one. Wild West. The Wild Wild West. <laughs> I could build it. That's true. I did like that spider. Jim Which West. spider? The <laughs> spider in what? <laughs> the Wild Wild West. The Wild Wild West spider, yes. It's the Wild Wild West. <laughs> what? 
What is happening today? All right. Big Will, Drew Hill, the Wild Wild West. This looks so cool. This thing looks really cool. Oh, I don't I, like that part. I Have you ever done one of those? Mm hmm. He then you get him. shocked for like he three hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if this is like the steampunk, oh. uh, like the one that we have on the yeah. shelf behind us, yeah. this is like the cyberpunk. This right, right here this is, is awesome like looking. straight out of Miles Morales Spider Man into the Spider Verse. I oh. love it so much. I. I, I I love this so much. I don't even know what else to say. All right, well then that's, that's, that's you've said so it all. good. But look it's a puzzle. It. And you get to build it. I didn't get to build that one. I got to turn it on, and guess what? The light you bulb gets too hot. You just said you're speechless. I got no, say, things to say. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta say, not a big fan of a puzzle that requires a screwdriver. Are you that's, serious? He is, yes! He is serious. I'm very oh, serious. Let me put you out of uh, the suspense on this one. He means <laughs> it. Okay. That's how so puzzles fun. work. Puzzles are just that together. Here's Tom changing a car tire. <laughs> I wish. I don't understand. I'm I like, Tom, he... that's the alternator. <laughs> <laughs> I wish he was exaggerating there, but all right. I was a little. Slightly. Not too much. Now, if I change the tires, I'm do this. I'm like, Lara, I got to work. Is there a way to get the tires changed? You can walk. That all looks right. so good. Speaking of walking this and talking. Is, this is uh, where it's at Would you right like here. to break a bad habit? Sure. Uh, sure, yeah. Like... Eating peanuts with the shells on. If I had one of these rings on my hand that said, <laughs> stop, stop. Yeah. think about it. <laughs> <laughs> on the way into the mouth, you would have been like, oh, no. Can you imagine having one of these? I think you would lose the ring first. Like, like I'm just talking habit? fast food. Yes, I agree. You pick up the hamburger, you're like, huh, huh. <laughs> I think that's what would happen. Well, I like that one of the pictures like here. That. They have like a lit cigarette in someone's hand that says yeah. like "Don't," and you're like, "If you lit it, this is it's gone too far." It's already yeah, been yeah, yeah. Right not in your mouth. <laughs> you're <laughs> not using that there. hand to get it lit. Oh look, there's a stop with coffee mm -hmm. or Starbucks specifically. Don't with the remote. Like screen time, I guess. Stop Don't TikTok. TikTok. I like that one. Wait, why is it on the thumb? That's a that's the real uh, oh. that's the real way to break a bad habit is wear a <laughs> ring on your thumb. Yeah, right. Stop wearing rings on your thumb. I love the Amazon. Like, don't buy it. Stop. No. You don't need it. I want to get one of these that says "Add to Cart." Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? One just just one Wait, more. Is this Wait, guy. I want to get the opposite the of this. Is the guy you know what I mean? Yeah, that's gambling. a bad yeah. poker hand. That's a terrible <laughs> poker hand. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. It should say fold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I should say. Fall. He, he definitely put the. He looked at his hand, put the ring on. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. I'm, I'm, I'm playing oh, with you. I'm like, oh, I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> Chris is looking at his ring sadly. We're like, hey, like get all in. <laughs> Fred, I'm oh sorry. You gosh. have a tell. <laughs> all right. And finally, the big swole chair. <laughs> So, this is for your average person who both goes camping and weighs between 300 and 600 pounds. Uh-huh. And yep. is 7 that, that, foot that. 12. <laughs> mm -hmm. now, here's why I don't know, correct? I don't know who this is, who Big Swole Randy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> do, do you guys know who this is? No, I don't. Is he a famous, like, uh, power, power lifter, lifter or something, or something like know. that? He probably is. I'm, it's weird to me wow. that he seems to be someone famous, I mean, like a well-known person, and I really do mean it, ignore, you know, forgive my ignorance, but this is not doing well, like, at all. Was it just not advertised? Well, I mean, how often have you wanted a chair that would make you look like a doll? That's fair. Well, it is enormous. That look at that beast. There's a, there's a, the competitor's jumbo chair, but over here is a regular chair. Mm. Look at that. If you uh, came, and that's the big swole. How would you feel like you come to the house and like, Z, I got a special chair just for you. Pull this out. Bro, <laughs> what's it called, that. Tom? <laughs> I'd rather not tell you. No, what's the name of the chair? <laughs> <sighs> you know when you go to, like, on some of the stops on the cruise, you go, like, go to the Caribbean, they'll have, like, one of those gigantic wooden beach chairs oh, yeah. that are yes. just like it's a tourist trap, like, sit yes! down, take a picture. But this is like the red solo cup of chairs. Yes. I would love to see a soccer mom but show up even, with this, though. Right the, is there on any the picture of anyone sitting yeah. in right the chair? In the front. <laughs> yeah. Look, he's standing next to the chair. He's no, not he sitting sits in it. it. He sits in it. It swallows him. 
Is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's is it in the video? No, it was a still. You scrolled at some point. Nah, before I got dizzy, I saw it. Makes won't change. No, I, Tom, I, I did not see it in the video. It's in the project somewhere. Uh -huh. Did it say hi to six pack of Oh, there stars? it is. There. It's right there. Sorry, I scrolled by this because it was, it was weird. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> it looks like the chair is eating him. Yeah, man. <laughs> they see, yeah. what they got to do is they need to market this as like a mimic chair. Do you have to jump into the chair too? Then D&D &D will back you up. Like if, if like again, you if you're crawl a three hundred pound guy, you need to back the ladder also. That's its own project. You need the ladder, the big swole <laughs> ladder. Big ladder. Big swole ladder. Then big you get up on the stool. chair. A hundred percent. This is going to be the cause of police having to come help someone who got stuck in a chair. Please come get what? my cat down from the tree <laughs> and me down from this chair. I can't get out of my chair. I'm sitting and I can't get up. <laughs> Life alert is about to get a whole new kind of alert. I can't stand. Out of this chair. The chair's gonna burst through the big brick wall going, oh yeah. <laughs> that's great. The fact that it's bright red is not helping, that's true. Yeah. I just, yeah. this is great though. I just, if, if this was like a lover's chair for two people, maybe, I'm surprised it's not like. But again, they make those already. <laughs> like. Yeah, but they're not called big swall chairs. Big swall. Yeah, that's right. Duplex chair. Now, <laughs> take the big swall chair, put it in the neck pillow. Oh yeah. man, uh, big swole uh, pillow. Uh, <laughs> yep. Oh, that other chair fits in this one. Ah, I'm learning a lot today. There's a lot. To Let's unpack. get back to games. Let's start with Mike's pick of the week, where one here scrambles to remember what theirs was. Okay. All right, well, a pretty light week this week, but a uh, couple of things that I was definitely interested. One that is not my pick of the week is Tiny Epic Cthulhu, because after a number of misses, the last two Tiny Epic games, uh, Tiny Epic Crimes and Tiny Epic Vikings, I've liked quite a bit. But my pick of the week is coming from a publisher that I just think is knocking it out of the park. They haven't had any misses for me. That is Salt and Pepper Games, and the game is The Battle of Versailles. Just, uh, I, I think that this, again, this publisher is tackling some unique themes. Their productions always look great. And until they have a miss, I'm going to continue to pretty much try theirs out no matter what. But Roy, I wouldn't change the screen. I have a feeling we're gonna be seeing a few more seals come up in just a second. I think my pick is also going to be <laughs> the Battle of Versailles. <laughs> but I would like two picks this week. I want to couple it with the big swole chair. Also, Mike, stop cheating and putting in two, two yeah, games. Yeah, no, Mike's a cheater. Okay. That's why you get the wrong video played, okay? Follow the rules. Or we play the video from last mm -hmm. week. Where is the video, Mike? I don't know where it is. I don't know where he puts it. Okay, well, why, why Roy's looking for he it? He just said in the chat what it is. He just says it in the chat. That's what good enough for is? Mike. <laughs> My pick was... <gasps> Explosion of Navoria. That's Explosion mine as well. Explosion of Navoria. That's yours? That's mine as that's well. That's funny because that's mine as well. What? I, I hate I, to do this, but that's also absolutely yep. mine. I figured and it was. That's why I said it first. I was like jumping in. <laughs> yep. I, okay. I was going to pick the Marvel one, but I'm also picking this one. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> this only, is everybody's pick of the week. The only one that I was, the other one I was tempted by was the the one from Thunderworks. The you Cyber only get Punk one pick. No. Uh, ask Mike. Uh, Mike uh, said uh, I could uh, have Mike two. Mike does not make the rules. Mike said I could have two. Mike does not make the rules. Uh, yeah, no. Peanut. That's the only other one I was, I was kind of tempted by but this is this gets it for me i like the idea like of the it. shared worker placement of the two part you know you place and do something but then the resources actually are another worker placement um uh, uh round, looks good so, too yeah i will say i think when yeah. people are kind of being like oh it's a slow week i think this could easily be my pick of the week and not a slow week i think so as well I agree. yeah i'm not giving mm -hmm. this a pity crowd you know a, a pity pick of the week I think it's a good-looking game. I'm happy to pick this one in a, in a more crowded week. Yeah, well, I mean, the thing, too, is I I saw like, you could download the rule book, so I took a quick look at it. And it's very short. Yeah. It's very, like, I mean, what they advertise on the page is most of the rules and the structure. That's awesome. And so I was like, I'm very impressed with that. Yeah, so I like that good. a lot. Really cool. Is this your pick, Tom? What are you doing? I'm trying to show people our... Dice Tower Kickstarter. Dice Tower Kickstarter. Dice Tower Kickstarter. But, but uh, our project seems to be like Kickstarter seems to be not working right now. Oh. Yeah, I'll tell you what it is. That's not everybody our project. running. Seven point eight million dollars. To the big swole chair. Is. Here is my pick of the week. <laughs> <laughs> no! Stop it, Kickstarter. What? Whoa. Whoa. Do you need to open Hold a on. different browser? Hold maybe? on. You disrespect the Biswole Randy. <laughs> <laughs> what was his name? I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope that was his name. <laughs> Um, 
All right, anyway, I can't see why I know why it's pulled up here, but you want to check pull it up out. My phone and show it to the camera. Yeah. Dice Tower Kickstarter. You typed thing. Dice Tower. It's doing the same oh, thing. Oh, did you right? type it wrong? No, it's Kickstarter, man. Oh. Of all times to go down. Hey, Come we're on. done, though. We're finished. Like uh, this, right now. Unfortunately, oh. we don't get to show you, but if, what if this happens in the beginning? Well, he's, unless he's preloaded the stuff. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, he's starting your like heart away. Exploded, okay? Put whatever you want on this wow. phone right here. Mm. Oh, it's Big Swole idea. Chair. Yeah. <laughs> Just put the internet. You think that's what it is? is? Big Swole Chair. Everybody right? now finding out about oh. it here, and they rushed it. They rushed oh, they do say Big Swole Chair. The app still works. The app so. still works. Go in there and back us, and then back us again, and then back us a third time. I'm not having the app. You need work. three different emails to do that, but it is. But you can do it. <laughs> you can do it, okay? If a man can dream of building a big swole chair for his big swole body, then you can back us three times with three different emails, okay? I'm jumping in this conversation. We'll be back tomorrow Google. with big swole smorgasbord. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll put it on the thumbnail, man. Big red chair. Everything is spare. Uh, they'll come in and there's a giant couch sitting in the middle of it like, yeah! Hello, everybody! <laughs> that has to be one big couch. All right. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, I'm Tom. I'm Chris Yee. I'm Camilla. I'm Z. We'll see you all next time. Bye. In our chairs. <laughs>